telling jokes in front of a empty house is a very familiar feeling. So um, here we go. Let's see. Uh, I recently got over my first ever bout of food poisoning, which was an interesting experience. Um, if you've never had food poisoning, I can describe it to you using no details. I can describe it to you. It's like being stuck in a reply all email chain. Um, you won't mind the first few emails. Uh, you might actually enjoy them. But eventually you're going to realize that the amount of emails is drastically increasing while the amount of content within those emails is drastically decreasing. So you just find yourself dealing with empty email after empty email at all hours of the goddamn night with no end in sight. Uh, my people, mi gente, we call it el chorro. But um, I missed two days of work and I almost missed a third. But uh, I did go in after just missing two days because by that third day, um, I, I, I was sneezing confidently again. So I was feeling pretty good. Um, let's see. <clears throat> My favorite part about Mumford and Sons uh, is that I know exactly who to blame. <laughs> Speaking of uh, bands, um, my first job out of college was writing for a small music magazine, and it was a fun job, but my, my boss was temperamental. Uh, but like I said, it was fun, and um, he once took me to go see uh, P.O.D. at the Civic Auditorium. I don't know if you remember P.O.D. They had a brief uh, 15, 9, 7 minutes of fame with a couple songs, Alive and Youth of the Nation. But um, it was a good time, and afterwards my boss uh, took me to go uh, have some beers at a bar. And like I said, he was a temperamental man, and uh, at one point during the evening, he threw his beer at me. Um, and it's been, it's, been, it's been 15 years, and I still think about it, and it still pisses me off that after 15 years, he has yet to apologize for taking me to that goddamn concert. Really? P.O.D.? Um, um, let's see. I think I need to rethink my relationship with ride-sharing services. Because uh, I can't give anything less than five stars, and I feel like I'm just rewarding bad behavior. Um, anytime I consider giving anything less than five stars, I just start to think like, well, you know, this driver's out here at all hours of the night trying to make ends meet in their own car, and the sidewalk was faster. Boom, five stars. Um, I think I would use ride sharing more if drivers were required to have tinted windows. Because then at least then I don't, you know... Um, because I hate it when my driver sucks and I'm, I'm being paraded around town. What I feel like a, like an asshole Pope mobile, you know, I'm sorry. Like if the, if the windows were tinted, then I don't have to pretend to look busy uh, when my driver's blocking three lanes of traffic trying to make an illegal U-turn, you know. Um, I could just sit back and relax like I'm in a tiny limo. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, did you know that Maroon 5 has a different name in Latin American countries? Yeah, in Latin American countries, Maroon 5 is known as Cinco uh, pendejos, and that's true because I saw it on Wikipedia when I put it there. Um, let's see. Um, yo hablo español, I am Latino, um, and um, you know, I work in offices and all that. I don't get a chance to, to speak my uh, my Spanish uh, in the office, uh, it's kind of tricky though because. <laughs> You know, being a Latino, I have to be very careful with the way I pronounce certain things like what's up or hey, because if I get sloppy and I say sup or a hey, by default, I'm probably going to follow up with a fool, a bro, maybe even a fucker. Uh, in an office environment, you're not going to get too far calling on everyone. Hey, fucker, sup, fucker. Even something like a fool and sup, bro, are still a little iffy. Uh, my boss still doesn't like um, sup, bro, but I think she'll come around. <laughs> but. Like I said, I don't get a chance to hablar español in the office as often as I would like. Um, I do, however, show off whenever my coworkers and I go to a Mexican restaurant for lunch. And I overhear someone order some like a chicken quesadilla or a chicken fajitas, chimichangas. Because when that happens and it's my turn to order, I just can't resist becoming a lead character in a telenovela. Yeah, I just can't resist talking to everyone like, <clears throat> Buenísimo tardes. Si, sí, yo deseo. Not yo quiero, I want. Yo deseo, I desire. Uh, un plato de enchiladas bravas, unos camarones a la diabla, and so forth. Um, like, I basically become one of those Latino reporters you see on the news. You know, the ones that really dig into and follow through on every Spanish word. And they'll end the segment like, police don't have any further information on the suspect. Reporting live from El Camino Real in Santa Clara. This is Gustavo Gutierrez Guzman. El mero, mero, más chingón, tú sabes, güey. For ABC 7 News. Thank you.